All right, I think we're good to get started. Uh, thanks again for joining today. This is Travis Marier, um, CEO of FlexPoint. Um, I'm here with our CTO, Matt Myers. Um, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the features and functionality of FlexPoint, kind of the evolution we've seen over the last couple months and, and a lot of the product growth, as well as uh, sending a couple of polls over uh, through the webinar to see you know, what you guys are thinking and, and what you really are, are looking forward to when it comes to features and functionality, but then also kind of giving you a, a taste of what we've got coming down the pipeline um, and, and give you a, a quick sneak peek there. So um, with that, I'll go ahead and just jump in. I'm going to do a quick background. I do see we've got some existing customers, some new potential customers. We've got a, some people I don't recognize on here. So I, I do want to kind of go through some of this quickly at the beginning, but I do want to touch on exactly, you know, inventory source and flex point. And really the difference in kind of the evolution of the company. Uh, so really inventory source started back in 2004, uh, over 15 years ago, um, as a really quick way to get connected with a directory of dropship suppliers and pre-built feed integrations. Um, we added from you know, the first one or two suppliers, we added almost uh, 100 in 2010, so it took about six years to kind of build up that directory. Uh, really great way to just kind of get easily connected and load products to your store. But we saw a lot more of a need in 2016. We brought on a, a whole new team really in 2016 to redesign the entire brand, and redesign the entire infrastructure from a technical perspective, um, to redesign the interface, really kind of rebuild the company as a whole, added the order side and, and automating orders and, and tracking for the first time. Um, full catalog management, it's, it's kind of funny to think, but before 2016, you never actually even saw a product in the interface. It was all drop downs and, and toggles and radio buttons. Um, so, you know, that was something that people have been ask, asking for for a while. So a whole new uh, platform really in 2016. We also did release in 2018 US Direct, which is our own kind of virtual distributor, making it very easy to access products, dropship ready products. We saw that as a big need. And during that process, we became a dropshipper ourselves. For the first time, we actually, uh, you know, had to feel the pains of, of uh, you know, invoicing and syncing and ordering and, and vendor onboarding and um, really just kind of uh, becoming our, our own customer. And we saw that, you know, inventory source was great, allowed us to do this, to get up and running very quickly, but we really wanted to run our whole business off one platform that was built for a dropship first kind of company like US Direct, whether you're on the supply side or whether you're a retail retailer. So that's really where FlexPoint came from. Mixed with the uh, number of, of requests that we've had over the years, seeing these own, our own pain points by running US Direct allowed us to really build a product we felt solved a lot of the needs of our customers. And so just a quick overview for those that are on the webinar that are new to FlexPoint and what it actually is. Um, you know, it's really the platform, it, it's got an integration mapping tool, right? Unlike it's, uh, Inventory Source, which has got pre-built integrations and uh, directory of suppliers, this allows you to connect in any of your suppliers that you're working with, no matter how they connect, um, you know, whether it's CSV or connecting directly to their store platform or their ERP system or uh, bringing them on via a vendor portal, we wanted to have that functionality. Uh, the concept of virtual product catalog was also new to FlexPoint for inventory source where you've got multiple sources, multiple distributors, your own warehouse, wherever it might be. Uh, the same product may exist across multiple uh, areas or sources, I should say, and be able to combine those, map them, and then easily route and optimize the order routing uh, across those products. A workflow engine that we feel is uh, industry leading in, in our space when it comes to being able to, to build uh, workflows that actually fit your business case um, and actually get your business to kind of uh, fit to us versus have to us have to fit to you. Um, you know, it really kind of, it, it melds nice together where, you know, you've got your own workflows that you build, whether it's from an email notification perspective, ordering, uh, routing or inventory syncing, you really can kind of build your workflows uh, to make sure that, you know, you're not having to kind of fit into a box. Invoice integration reporting. So we are really for the first time actually syncing in invoices from your suppliers and reconciling those into your uh, orders across your channels to allow you to see profitability and ensure that you know, everything's reconciled and paid. And then finally, a dealer dropship manager and portal. So be able to actually manage dropship dealers um, for those that are on the supply side and be able to have different tiers across your dealers and different pricing and product access, as well as provide feeds very easily um, to your dealers. 
So uh, a quick background, we launched in Q4 of 2019. Um, we brought in an early adopter group last year. Since then, we've brought on uh, you know, several, several others from both the retailer and the supplier side. Uh, we've got 81 customers as of today um, on the FlexPoint platform. We've been really happy with the growth and, and the feedback we've got from our early adopters, not only from uh, a growth from a product side, but also a customer side, and, and really seeing that we, we have been able to build a product that our customers need. Um, and, and the proof in, in being the, the onboarding we've had over the last 120 days. So with that, I do want to start with our first of, of three of the surveys and just kind of kick one off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and launch one from uh, the Zoom meeting here, and it should be showing in just one minute. So you're going to see a poll here on really we're, we're interested to see what percentage of your orders are currently drop shipped. Um, understanding this is great for us because, you know, although a lot of our focus is on dropship, we do want to support that mixed model merchant that has their own warehouse that might, um, you know, also want to, uh, you know, send bulk purchase orders to their, their suppliers and, and, and bring in orders into their warehouse, things like that. So we're really interested to, to learn more about, you know, your current setup and see where we can kind of prioritize features and functionality that aligns with that. So looks like we've got a, a good bit coming in right now. Um, you know, really it's kind of spread across all of these. I don't, I don't think there's a way for me to share this with the screen, but, uh, you know, we've got 33% or hundred percent drop ship. Um, it looks like it's split now about 30% are somewhere between 25 and 75. I mean, really it's, it's, uh, it's across all. So that's really interesting to see. And, um, I appreciate you guys voting for me there. I think I'm going to go ahead and I think all I need to do is end this poll. And there we go. Okay, cool. And actually can share results. I, I think that's kind of, let's see what we got here. I'm just curious how that comes through. All right, well, that's great. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a, there's a you know, a good uh, stratification across all of those different questions there. All righty. So moving on, I do want to kick off um, or kick it over to my uh, CTO, Matt, and he's going to go into more about the, the previous development and the future development of FlexPoint. Sure. Yep. So this is kind of a visual diagram just to walk through kind of what we did in 2019, where we kind of started in 2018. Um, really, you know, at the top, the section is broken down into your inbound connections, uh, how you're handling fulfillment and inventory how you're managing the product content of your, you know, your inventory and, and the administration, such as workflows, order routing, and then really diving into like the listing data, how you're listing those to various marketplaces and channels, and how you're dealing with incoming sales orders, whether those be B2B or B2C. Um, and then obviously the last piece, the outbound connections so that you can push data to your channels or pull you know, your orders in. Um, so we really did a lot of focus this year in, in trying to flush out this, uh, you know, essentially this stack and make it so it's usable and, and valuable to kind of our customers, whether they're on the B2B and the B2C side. Um, so you can kind of see some of the major focuses being a, a lot of connectors. We, we built out, you know, over 20, 25 connectors, um, you know, with different integrations supported. Uh, we built out a vendor portal, you know, a dealer portal. Um, uh, many different workflow rules in, the, in, in between these sections, you know, being able to you know, dynamically route orders depending on rules, um, being able to you know, build virtuals with different you know, conflict building to be able to maximize on the best product data when you're creating your products to list. Um, it, and, and really, like it's, it's probably not worth to go into every single feature, but the idea is, is that these were all generated uh, mostly by customer feedback, customer need, um, and we're really looking to continue that trend as we move forward in the Q2 and Q3. Um, and, and that's kind of one of the purposes for this webinar here. Um, so we can, we can kind of jump into the 2020 stack here. And basically, you know, currently based on, you know, customer feedback, popular requests, some of our main focuses are going to be focused on better routing, uh, essentially being able to give more accurate estimations on shipping, uh, being able to connect into carrier providers, and provide estimated rates, uh, preferably real time before you even have, you know, for a B2B order, for example, before you capture that payment from your B2B customer. Uh, and then being able to use a lot of other features in, in a better way. So like listing data to your channels, 
uh, whether that be creating listings on marketplaces, whether that be understanding when uh, things are properly linked and synced to channels, uh, and, and just kind of refining a lot of those experiences. Um, you know, we're also doing a heavy focus this, you know, in this quarter uh, and next quarter on committed stock, uh, being able to commit stock so that you can sync and not oversell things, being able to integrate more accounting integrations and, and make sure that we can sync that data properly up to, you know, whatever system you're kind of using for your accounting needs and, and so that you can reconcile things properly. Uh, and then some just nice to have features like kidding and bundling, which, which is a common request across people. Uh, more payment providers and, and just general kind of flushing out that stack, um, building a more standard EDI and, you know, kind of format that everybody can essentially, you know, jump onto if they need to, uh, and if they don't need custom work um, and really just flushing out this kind of e-commerce stack. Uh, and, and one of the reasons obviously for having this is just to understand, you know, are, what are these that are really valuable to you and, and what are the other pain points kind of that you guys are dealing with uh, so that we can make sure that we can dedicate our efforts towards those. Yeah, and with that, uh, we do want to jump into our next poll. So as Matt mentioned, we, we love to build around the pain points that our customers have. And as you can see in that last diagram, um, you know, almost all of those uh, connectors were all customer driven. So um, and as well as the features. Um, so our next poll here is launching now. You know, this is really about uh, understanding what, what can we focus on uh, from a pain point perspective. Uh, you know, we're going to get into a feature poll here. In, in a couple of minutes, but you know, what are you seeing today? Are you, are you seeing slow vendor onboarding, bringing on new vendors and suppliers? Um, are you are you in the supply side and working with reseller resellers? Is that tough to onboard those? Um, you know, pricing products. Uh, how are you currently pricing products? Do you see issues there? You can select any of these that you feel are a major pain point today, um, and try to be selective, right, on what you'd say maybe your top three or or four maybe at the most. Um, is calculating shipping. We know shipping and drop shipping is one of those things where uh, everyone kind of when they first start drop shipping are, are kind of surprised at how difficult it, it actually is to identify how much it's going to cost to ship an item. Um, linking products from multiple sources. What we mean by that is, you know, like I said earlier, having that virtual catalog of, you know, I've got uh, product A in source A and, and product B in, in source B, but those are both the exact same product from a manufacturer perspective and you need to identify that and, and you want to route out to the, the cheapest or the closest. Um, kidding and bundling is pretty straightforward. And then adding new products to marketplaces and, and that's eBay, Amazon, Walmart, any of those really, gun broker, whatever it might be, um, listing them with the correct data is really the pain point we've, we've seen. So looks like we've got a couple coming in now. Um, we're about, <clears throat> Once again, kind of across everything, it looks like calculate shipping, like we're, we're kind of, uh, you know, identifying already is, is leading the pack, um, linking products across multiple sources. Obviously, one of the main reasons we, we built FlexPoint is right there with it. Um, okay, looks like they're starting to slow down now. I'll go ahead and end here. And yep, there you go. If you guys can see that, you can kind of see we've got calculate shipping and linking products from multiple sources at the, at the top. The good news is we'll get into it here in this next slide, but creating kits and bundles, bundled listings is, uh, is right behind it and, and definitely, um, you know, queued up on our roadmap. So. Yep. And so to kind of dive into the roadmap, um, you, you can kind of see here, it's a visual kind of time chart uh, to show what initiatives we're working on as we go through. Uh, so we've just added uh, kind of a, a common request of custom domain support for our dealer portals and the B2B portals. And now we're diving in and currently working on um, better category management. Uh, you know, and if, if you're a customer familiar with inventory source, you kind of know about the category mapping process uh, and how you can match up to you know, marketplace categories and things like that. Um, we're working on refining that process for FlexPoint and making it even better. Um, and then really diving into a, a better uh, listing. Oh. All right, awesome. And then, so uh, kind of right back into it, listings, uh, it, talking about that process a little bit, you know, there are two aspects of that. One is to make the process more intuitive, uh, make it easier to get products up to your channels. Uh, that's kind of the focus of this initiative, and we're about midway through it right now. Uh, we've also heard auditing and being able to trace, you know, what actions happen on things is a big deal. Um, you know, we're we're currently building out some functionality there, starting with the order management, so you can see how orders are modified and how they're, you know, what's happening on that order and the state of things. 
uh, and then we're going to dive into product kind of auditing a, a little bit later. Um, and, and and now you know, kind of to go back to that survey, right? Like the next big things we're focusing on is really refining the virtual building process. Which, if you're familiar with that, is basically how you how you link those source fulfillment products together by UPC, things like that, linking all of that. So adding validation layers there, adding you know. Uh, safe checks to let you say, you know, these are not actually proper links and, and how to detect those situations and how to let you act on those and make decisions. Um, that's kind of one of our next up initiatives. Uh, and then better fulfillment process. This is what encompasses the rate shopping, the cheapest shipping, et cetera, uh, and being able to, you know, give the best possible estimation we can to our users when they're fulfilling these, these orders. Uh, and then right shortly after that, we basically got marketplace publishing. Um, and, and all of that, and I believe, let's see, Kitty and Bundling, I believe Kitty and, oh, Kitty and Bundling is actually part of the listing B2 section. Um, so this is just a screenshot, but if you expand that, um, so essentially Kitty and Bundling, being able to create bundles, you know, choosing how you want to list products on your sales channel, uh, that's all going to be part of this kind of listing B2 initiative, which we're hoping to have early March, essentially kind of wrapped up. Great. No, appreciate that. And, you know, we, we will plan to do these probably once a quarter if, uh, yeah, at least once a quarter to share kind of where we're at with the roadmap, let our customers be involved in that, um, participate in, in helping us drive it, uh, as well as just like, like I said, have a sneak peek on, on what's around the corner in our product. So, um, you know, with our last poll here, we did want to ask, you know, out of these top features, and I've kind of broke them out um, here in the poll if I launch it here shortly into four choices um, to kind of make it easy for us. So if you had to pick your top one out of all of these, uh, I didn't put kidding and bundling because we've already started that or at least are, are about to start that. Um, but out of rate shopping, integrating shipping carries essentially is what that, what that is, right? Taking the a live rate, uh, sending an order based on what that rate has told you the cost of shipping is going to be. Um, also maybe in, in a lot of cases displaying that on, on some cases for our B2B guys. Uh, marketplace publishing, creating listings on actual marketplaces, um, committed stock. This is basically deducting inventory quantity when orders are placed, right? So not just syncing from your supplier, but pulling down, uh, you know, if two items were ordered on an order that you have, you're going to go ahead and pull that down out of your, uh, your source's inventory even before they tell you that they've, they've shipped it, right? Just so you know that there's a reduced uh, lag time there. And then transfer orders. Uh, really sending bulk POs to your suppliers. Um, so sending, saying, I, I need a, a whole pallet of these t-shirts or whatever they might be. I need them in my warehouse and I want to use your system to help automate that as well. So, all right, we've got a couple more coming in. If you haven't voted yet, I'll give you another 10 seconds or so. Looks like we still got some votes coming in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close it. So, so bad luck for the guys that want transfer orders. <laughs> looks like, like uh, we didn't get any votes there, um, but you know, that's, that, that's great. This is exactly what we want, right? So rate, it's funny, because almost uh, split evenly across these. All these are on our roadmap. Um, that's great to see. I mean, it's worth noting here that we do have a, a Q&A uh, button on this webinar. You should be able to, um, I believe it says uh, questions and answer. Uh, or at least Q&A down, it says chat maybe down the bottom. Um, if you do have suggestions, you, you do have questions um, about FlexPoint, about inventory source, uh, really we're gonna jump into that next um, and, and kind of answer any of your questions, right? We didn't wanna make this too long. We wanted to uh, really kind of give you an idea of what we have on the roadmap, kind of show you, you know, what we have been doing and, and all the stuff our dev team really has done. You know, that, that uh, slide Matt showed earlier with all of the new features that we rolled out just this last year. It's just really amazing. So um, wanted to kind of show that and we plan on rolling out just as many, if not more this upcoming year. Um, so let me go ahead and jump into the chat and see what kind of questions we have here. Okay, so are we gonna be moving customers from inventory source to FlexPoint? So uh, no, not necessarily. I mean, really it's, it's two different products um, that we plan on keeping both up for the foreseeable future. Uh, inventory source does a great job of being that plug and play SMB solution uh, of our directory of suppliers. Um, no, the great part really is that uh, 
you know, we, we plan on having both of them solve two different, you know, major use cases. One is I need to add a supplier's products into my uh, store very quickly and in kind of a one-to-one -one relationship. Um, and I just, I just want to get that set up and the suppliers in that supplier directory. Uh, FlexPoints, I need to run my whole business off a dropship platform with multiple vendors that are mine, that some might be an inventory source directory. And I want to do that quickly and efficiently. Um, so really that's kind of the idea there. So we do plan on offering them both uh, for the foreseeable future. And anyone that wants to make a move from inventory source to FlexPoint, it's very easy to do so as we connect in directly to uh, the, each system. All right, next one. So yeah, so the next one, I mean, we basically answered that question. Would I use FlexPoint and inventory source, right? So you, you would, uh, if you want, if you are currently using inventory source, you can just connect directly into inventory source from FlexPoint. Um, so yeah, that, that part's easy. And then let's see this next one. Can I connect FlexPoint with the big box retailers? Uh, so yeah, we are actually building uh, some of these integrations out now today. Um, you know, the, the larger retailers that require EDI, Matt showed some of his, in his slides, some of the EDI uh, components, right, on both the source side and the channel side. Um, we already have EDI today as far as custom builds. We are focusing more and more this year on standardizing the EDI process to really be able to do those <clears throat> as quick as possible, um, as quick as you can go with EDI. Uh, but we find our, we're, we're fairly, um, you know, as far as uh, competitors that we, we speak, speak to and hear about, uh, pretty quick with the EDI side of things, but we want to speed up even more by standardizing a lot of that process. So uh, that starts with kind of standardizing for these certain big box retailers that uh, we do have requested as of today that, you know, do have a, a standard EDI spec that we're building to. So, um, okay, so that's all that I've got coming in so far. I don't see any others. If there's any other questions, go ahead and put them in now. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah. Once again, thanks for everyone attending today. Uh, there will be a recording we'll send out. So you will have that. Um, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, send me an email, send Matt an email. If it's a general sales, want to get set up and started solutions at FlexPoint, our sales team is behind that email address. Uh, I can kind of answer your questions there. You can request a demo and, and kind of go into your specific needs there. Um, if, if you're ready to go and it looks like it's something that makes sense, you can always just go straight to our FlexPoint pricing page and, and get started there where, you know, uh, you, you'll be picked up from an account manager to get, get you kicked off. So all those options are available. Um, feel free to reach out. And once again, appreciate you joining the webinar. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone.